Today we are working on something that a lot of you have probably forgotten about or didn't know we were working on. That is Colin's C10 pickup truck, his 1963 C10 that we picked up for him last year. And we're pulling it out, wiping the dust off of it, and we're gonna get back on that project because it's a cool project and it's a cool truck. So, the last time we worked on it, we got a Suburban separated from its frame and we're gonna be using that as the power plant to run this C10. So we'll get that pulled into the shop and continue working on it. All right, so Colin wanted a turbo on his truck, so I got one for him. And this is, I don't know anything about turbos if I'm being honest. It's an eBay turbo kit. And uh, since there's no metal on here or anything like that, I figured it'd be a good time to put it all on, get everything in there so it's not so tight when we go put it on later. So uh, yeah, we gotta strip down the headers and stuff, get the new ones on, crossover pipes, whatever. I'm gonna hold off on the intercooler until we have the truck cab sitting on this so I know how to route that a little better. But as far as getting everything else mounted, I think we can do that without too many issues. So we'll get right into that. All right, this is what we're gonna be installing first because it's kind of the biggest and bulkiest and you know, you gotta start somewhere. So we've got the passenger side, the driver side manifold, the crossover pipe and the turbo. So we gotta get the old exhaust manifolds off of this engine and looking at it, I'm a little scared because all the bolt heads aren't there. And that either means they were taken out and never put back in or someone tried to take them out and they're broken off inside the head. I'm not excited to find out, but I guess let's get to it. <laughs> See how cleanly those ones came out? Well, I didn't break that one off. It was already broken and I don't even know what's in there. So let's do something. Oh, that feels terrible. Oh, that's really bad news. Oh my gosh. The rest of our life is gonna be terrible. Okay, we'll find out if, uh... oh, that one's missing too. Right there. Shoot, we can't do anything until, uh... Do we get those extracted? Yeah. So, one of them is, is sticking out. I'm gonna try to use vice grips to get that off. Maybe, by some miracle, it'll come out. I don't have something. Got it. All right, these are close enough out that I think I can just weld to them and uh, get them out. We'll see. <laughs> I'll pull the welder over here and get those. Here we go. I hope this doesn't want to catch on fire or something. Victory. We got one more to do on the other side, but I'm stoked. That one came out. Numero dos. That's brand new. Might as well just run that again. All right, both manifolds are on, roughly. I gotta wait for gaskets still. But that's where the turbo sits. That looks important. Very, very, very important. So tomorrow, we can get the old suspension torn out and get this new stuff put in. It's not a direct bolt-in, but it should be close. Pretty excited to get this thing put together. Like, I'm actually super excited. After we get all of this stuff mounted up, get the wheel mount surfaces figured out and everything, then we can actually tear the C10 apart and get the cab set on here. And that's gonna be, that's gonna be work. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, so we're waiting for gasket kit. I forgot to, I spaced it when ordering everything. So we are gonna hold off on all the turbo stuff. Instead, we're gonna work on the front suspension and the A-arms, because there's uh, some modifications that we're gonna have to do to get these right. For now, I gotta tear all the old stuff off. Love that tool. All right. Aha! 
All right, so that's the upper arm right there. And this is the lower. Now, I'm having a problem. Originally, I thought that maybe I could bolt one side in and it would match up and I would just have to rebuild one of the mounts. But if I do that and I look at it, it uh, things aren't right. Like the spindle would be, would be wrong and uh, it might give me some poor handling characteristics. So, if we come over here and look at this, I might not have to modify the mounts at all under there. So I have the OEM arm with the aftermarket one, but it's too narrow for that. But it looks like if I cut these off and re-weld them at the edge of the tube, it will get the spacing right that I need, so I won't have to cut or modify those mounts. And it will also put my lower ball joint right in line with where the OEM one is. From what it looks like, the OEM arm that was on there is the same as the aftermarket one, just minus a couple of angles, but it's in line. So if that's how the factory had it, that's how I want it. That's the whole point of doing all of this, is to get like factory handling characteristics. We're, we're updating this with 50 years of innovative technology over the 63 stuff. So I think this will work. Not to mention all this webbing and stuff. I don't need it, it can go away. So we'll get it cut off and start over. Nice. That's one. This is what I like to do with my brand new thousand dollar arm. Flawless. All right, now I gotta clean up all the powder coat off of these to get them welded back. What was that for? All right, so I'm gonna be using the, I guess the factory locations to mount this thing, cause I think that'll get me really close. So we'll just throw them in. I've got these cut off of the A arms, just like that. Arm comes up and gets welded. We'll throw gussets on that so that it won't be a huge deal and it actually can be used. Much better. That's where we want right height, right? I believe so. So we're gonna pretend that this is the size. Okay, that's as low as that jack will go. Now. All right, so the idea was to get as low as I can with the stock suspension and retain as much of the stock suspension as I can. Because I don't know anything about independent arms or anything like that, so just stick with something that's already working. Why would we need to lower it, you ask? Because it's cool. But I'm looking at this thing all mocked up here. It looks like if I just drill some holes up in like that area, I could bring this whole arm up about two inches, and on the lower side, I can drill up two inches as well. And that would get me that much lower to the frame. I really like how this is going. I don't think I mentioned this. So I'm running drop spindles, drop arms, and now I'm going to relocate the mounts to drop the frame even lower. So dropping from factory height about six inches, and that's quite a bit. It should give me frame about three inches off the ground. All right, that's, that's it right there. So we're gonna be re-drilling these holes up higher into this mount. And then we're also gonna be doing that to the lower ones. And I guess it will drop the frame, but lift the whole suspension up. And we'll still be retaining the factory geometry, sort of. We're slightly straying from it more and more, but it's, it's all right. All right, I decided I'm wasting my time. I'm just gonna cut off these mounts and build my own. I know where they need to go, so I can mount them as high as I need to, and then with the lower ones, I can also come up as high as I want or need to. I think that'll just be better all around for this thing. We're trying to get really low, and that takes work.
All right, so I got the mounts trimmed off of this side. We got to get them cleaned up a little more, but something has happened. As you know, this is Colin's project. This is Colin's truck. What's up, guys? And he's here. Finally to work on it. Golly, what's it been? Like a year? School and everything. Yeah, he's busy. He's got he's got a life. So he's gonna get started on that side since so I pretty well know what I need to do to get this side done right. So uh, I guess get to it. We got this frame all stripped down on this side. I've got some marks to kind of keep me oriented where the new arm mounts go. But overall, I think it's it's turning out good. I'm feeling really good about it. It's going together super well. So far. Yeah, so far. We haven't tried to fit the truck onto it yet. That's yeah. gonna be a battle in itself. Oh yes. We're just gonna get all of the mounts stripped off of this frame and then tomorrow we can start mocking up brackets and actually getting the spindle mounted and everything hopefully where it should be yeah see you tomorrow all right i have some super unfortunate news in regards to i guess the film and editing of this video so while this video was being edited the storage device that i had all the footage on decided to not work anymore and that is this hard drive right here a little sand disk drive and i didn't have any of the storage anywhere else and that's on me that's that's on me but because of that, a lot of the footage got deleted, it got formatted, and we can't get it back. So I'm going to explain kind of what I've been working on and how it got to that point. All right, so we got, we got a big pile of metal here. That all came off of the frame. See how it's all cleaned up now? I've got this upper arm. So what I decided to do was I took basically the stock mounting and I moved it up. I didn't like how it looked with these rusty pieces, so I figured I'd just kind of build it all from scratch. So that's what I did. I've got that mount, and I've got that mount cut out and built, and then these upper arms mount there and there. This side, I've got a lot more going on. The airbag is in place, that's kind of where it's gonna go, and uh, the plate, in the new A-arm and everything. Now we gotta get this bag, I guess mounted to this lower control thing, and built this plate here to uh, fill in the gap in the bottom there, but it has to be angled. If I don't angle the plate up just a little bit, uh, the bag's gonna be at too much of a weird angle. So I'll probably grab the welder and get it over here and get this whole thing tacked in and looking good. So it's tacked on. I guess we'll get that tacked on a little better, get the bag bolted in, and then start mocking up for, I guess, the top of the bag pocket? All right. That's what I decided to come up with. That should be around ride height right there, and that's why the bag's kind of offset like that. And then as I go up, that should be full stuff right there i'll throw more gussets on it to strengthen everything up but other than that I, I think it's looking pretty good so that's what it looks like right now i'm gonna throw a couple more gussets on it and get the other side put together and maybe put the spindles and tires on and put air to it see what it does okay time for the knuckle to go on Okay, that goes on there. 
We gotta get airlines ran to these so that we can actually test them out. So I'll go grab those. So right now it's sitting off of the lift and no air in the bags. I'm gonna put some air to them and see what it does. Okay, here we go. It works! I'm excited. This is so exciting. Definitely have things to fix though and adjust. But for a trial run, this is great. Everything is just tacked together at the moment, that by the way. So, yeah. I would say that's all the way down. That's pretty good. I'm happy, super happy with that. Next time we work on this, we'll, uh, we'll try to get the cab mounted, get the front fenders on it maybe. And until then, Thanks for watching.